30,000. And they'll have their hands full tonight. The Gators of Florida, winners of the Southeastern Conference, are here in power. And ABC Sports presents college football. It's the Mountaineers against the Gators. Welcome, everybody, to the USF&G Insurance Sugar Bowl. Now, the Bowl Coalition Top Ten says Nebraska and Florida State are playing for the whole ball of wax down in Miami. The folks of West Virginia will tell you, just hold on here a minute. Just hold on. Head for 1994. And where does the time go? Todd Sauerbrunn to kick it off here in New Orleans. The big hop to Houston, one of the wide receivers. Ooh, Houston out to the 24-yard line. And it'll be Terry Dean with Steve Spurrier, the head coach. He's also the offensive coordinator. He'll send in the plays. And here he is in charge, calling the first play, moving Houston over about a half yard in the slot. And they will do what Spurrier loves to do best of all, incomplete. And West Virginia delivers the first hit from West Richardson. Kelvin Randolph, a fullback, will help set the table for Eric Rett when the Gators do go to that run game. Anthony Ingrassia starting at left tackle as he did against Alabama in the SEC title game. On the defensive side, Derek Wiley, number 45, one of the big hit men for the Mountaineers. And Wes Richardson has already made one big play. And speaking of hitters, Mike Collins, number 25, in that West Virginia backfield. Second and 10. Dean rolling to the right. Incomplete. Pressured by Scotty Gaskin. And there's about 10 seconds left. Plenty of time on the play clock. Houston comes down toward the offensive tackle. And again, he throws for the first down to the 40-yard line. And Charlie Dean, no relation to the quarterback. Ball at the Gators, 38-yard line. They were beaten here two years ago in the Sugar Bowl by Notre Dame. That was Eric Red who stepped out in motion. Randolph slides out down the middle and incomplete. <laughs> Second and 10 now. And Red is the record-setting tailback, number 33, and off a play fake. Dean firing complete to the 42-yard line, just keeping the ball in the air. And what? Third and six. And Dean with the call up at the line in the noisy Superdome. West Virginia shows blitz. Picked up in time. One-on-one -on -one over through the wide man. And that was Mike Baker of the Mountaineers set to return this. A great duel in the two punting games. And Edge nails one. Here's your man, Jake Kelsey, from Berwick, Pennsylvania. He will not, I repeat, will not enforce the noise rule that is used during normal games. He says it's hard to determine who's making the most noise in a bowl game. Most noise right here, Jack, made by the Mountaineer fans. Carried it around the left side. Normally, he'll hand it to Robert Walker, 43, behind this offensive line, which features the All-American tackle, Rich Graham, number 78. And against the Gator defense, will line up this way. Kevin Carter played well against the Crimson Tide in the SEC title game. Eddie Robinson's their leading tackler. And back in that defensive backfield, Michael Gilmore. Wonderful story, number 35, pre-med student. 3.75 grade point average and a fine football player. This is second and two after the eight-yard run. Kelster throws to the sideline and Baker at the 42 for a Mountaineer first down. 14-yard gain to Baker who goes out to the left along with Hill. Ryan the tight end in that direction and a spinner by the fullback Jimmy Freeman into the arms of Dexter Daniel. You'll notice a heavy pad on it. Play fake, Kelsner fires complete again, and another Mountaineer first down into the hands of Mike Baker, the senior wide receiver. Another 14 yards, and the Mountaineers have moved to the Gator 44. Now it's Robert Walker slashing to the 41-yard line. The Mountaineers with a basic eye, and the tight end line stepping over to the right side. Kelsner looks toward the right. He's going to swing it out to Walker, 40 to the 34, close to a first down. It is third and one. One running back, two tight ends, and West Virginia shows pass out of it. Kelsner in trouble, and it is incomplete. Brent, it is indeed a possibility. You know, he's wearing that protective white bandage around his elbow. You can see it there. They say he's got some fluid on his elbow, but it has not affected his throwing arm. Walker for the first down. 
a very confident West Virginia team. West Virginia, the champions of the Big East. The Big East on the day, one and one. Miami shellacked by Arizona this afternoon. What a performance out in the desert. Now here for the Mounties, Kelcher going to the end zone. Kearney's there. Touchdown, West Virginia. zone puts West Virginia up by seven a 32 yard scoring pass he has a real good leg this is Jackson a yard deep comes back to the 27. Florida's first possession they passed six straight plays now Eric led on the toss finds a huge hole for a Florida first down as they discover the running game 12 yards and a first down and that gains read another carry and Eric Red well Rett's recuperating over on the sideline and they'll give it to Randolph he slipped through as Steve Perkins number 97 this is third and three for the Gators and Dean off a quick drop throws incomplete. High. Down inside the 10 yard line. Baker says, I'm coming. Beats the first one. Out to the 11. And finally out of bounds at the 12. And now it's first and 10 at the 11 yard line. And Kelchner throwing beautiful pass to the inside. This was Rasan Banterpool out of Berwick, Pennsylvania. That's a tough, tough town. Mamas raise their babies to be football players in that town. Here is Robert Walker to the 20-yard line and Dexter Daniel. And the pass defender where he ended up. Banterpool takes Kennedy. Now on the toss to Walker. Well-designed play. Penalty flag thrown late by the back judge. Time off had to help there West Virginia. On the play. Holding. On the offense, dead ball, personal foul on the defense. Now, that personal foul on the dead ball gives the Mountaineers this first down. So they start with a first and 10 coming out from the 32, and Kelchner is right on target here so far tonight. He's 6 of 7 for 85 yards and 132 yard touchdown. And they run the draw with John Jones. Now, here is the senior tailback has been forced out of the game. We're going to check on that. They fake the end around. Kelster now takes off, and Jake crosses midfield to the 49-yard line. Third down and four now. Jones and Woodard, the running backs. Jake's going to swing it on out, and here's Jones. Jones short. Down at midfield. The middle knuckle in his right hand. They have popped it back in. They're taping it back up. He put the glove on. He's going to play hurt, but he's going back in. Well, Todd Sauerbrunn and the Gators now are buried. They have to come out from the nine-yard line. Jack Jackson comes in motion. Three wides to the left. He'll hit Willie Jackson, 22. And Willie Jackson is forced out at the 16-yard line. This is second and three. Terry Dean on the toss. He'll take it back. This is a familiar play to Gator fans. Straight down the middle. They want one-on-one -on -one with Houston. He overthrew him and almost intercepted at the 32 by Beasley. It is now third and three. Eye formation for the Gators. Here's the toss to Rhett. Rhett looks on the left side, and he is trapped. And coming from the backside, Derek Wiley. Take a look at Steve Perkins here, number 97, right in the middle of your screen. Throws right the there, forearm goes, yeah. and draws the penalty flag. And just like you said, Dick, not intelligent. Up on their own 29-yard line. Keeps a drive alive. Eye formation look again with three wide receivers. And it is Eric Rett. Rett battling to the 32. And Matt Tafoni just dearly loves the game of football. From the split back, Dean firing a good pass to Jack Jackson. Jack Jackson squirts for the first down to the 42. left in the first quarter.
break. Red also can block. He stood up Tim Brown. This allowed Terry Dean to finally hit the fullback Randolph. And Randolph is close to a first down. Feeling his side and back toward the small of the back. Coming up now in second and short. Off the play fake. Dean throws. Beautiful catch at the 30-yard line by Houston. See Eric Rett, the lone setback. Right side hole. Rett to the 22-yard line. And Richardson makes the stop. This is the Gators' best drive of the game. West Virginia has been dominating so far. They show blitz, and here they come. It's picked up, and Dean quickly steps to the left. Drops it high, but Hill got it at the 10-yard line and a first down. They set the eye, and Dean will change up the play right now after he looks at the defense down here going in. It's Rhett behind Zilke. Rhett battles to the seven-yard line, and Buddy Hager, Willie Jackson over to his left. Four talented wide receivers. Short drop, quick pop once. Willie had a left hand on it and couldn't bring it down. He had one-on-one -on -one against Beasley. And meanwhile, Steve Spurrier, he's got four wide receivers. He's got his quarterback calling the pass play up at the line of scrimmage. He's got a third down. The Mountaineers were blitzing. I think they could have been offside. And it's deflected away by Beasley. He threw it too flat. Now, Richardson was coming on the blitz. And he stepped across from somebody's midsection to stand up. Now on third down, here's the toss. Red is cut off. Going to head back to the right side and try to get to the flag. Cuts in. Beautiful run for a score. What a run by Eric Rett, the all-time rushing leader for the Florida Gators. You can punch me all you want, buddy. I am still tough, and I am going to run the football. Not a design play to break back like that. Just good instinct. Nice run, Eric. That was a big-time college football run. They talk about this young man and say that maybe he doesn't have the burst for the NFL, but he sure got the heart on the Mountaineers after they stopped Florida on third down, wasn't it? Back on their own 15-yard line. They were their own worst enemy. Here's the freshman Vanderpool from out of the end zone. Vanderpool wide to the left. Both teams very dangerous kick. Darren Studstill is back at tailback. Watch out for the halfback option pass. They've got one-on-one. -on -one. Kearney, and they overthrew him. They slipped the backup quarterback in at tailback. There's Doc Holliday, the pass receiver coach for the Mountaineers. Nate Ryan over to the right side of the formation. Jones blasts up the middle. I can see why the coaches like him. Out to the 34-yard line. So West Virginia and Florida are tied in the U.S. F&G Insurance Sugar Bowl. 7-7, the end of the first quarter. We'll be right back. Michigan, Penn State, and Wisconsin. Nice day by a conference and had a good year. Now Kelson was running the option and it was disrupted completely by the defense. I, all American, I, we watch it play, I know we what you mean. Out. Must have <laughs> some run. A little bit of a low punt. And running up is Sorola Palmer. He did a great job against Alabama. And he's upended here at the 35-yard line. Eric Rett and Kelvin Randolph are the Gator running backs. They're leaving Randolph in because they're going to need some blocking against this defensive pressure from West Virginia. Here's the toss. And Rett cutting back beautifully on that play again to the right. And the daylight is there. You got your tight end, and it's really a wide receiver on the right. You've camouflaged. Bring him around now, and off a fake end around, and there's a penalty flag down along with Dean. To use that kind of play on a waist down. Third down and five. Dean coming over to the right side, throws underneath, and with pressure on, he was able to deliver it. He has four wide receivers, three of them out to the left now. And West Virginia shows three rushmen. They back off into a dime look here with only three rushmen. The offensive line holds up, passes Ooh. high, and incomplete over the middle. Woo. Again, a three-man rush against this obvious passing situation. Second and ten. They throw underneath the coverage to Rhett. West Virginia lets him have a couple of yards. And here is third and seven now. And the Gators come up in a power eye. And so West Virginia will set down now. 
They'll put four linemen down, and they'll push at the corners. Dean is back over the middle, a diving catch by Jackson. That's why this is the most feared passing attack, including the slot man for the Gators, are off to Dean Wright. They'll give it to Rhett, and there's a huge hole on the right side. Rhett for the 30, still going to the 27, and another Florida first down. Good blocking. Four down linemen defensively, and Rhett comes in motion for the Gators on first down. Short drop, fires complete to Jack. Fumble! West Virginia's Tafoni recovers at the 18-yard line. Matt wraps it up. The first turnover of the game. Watch Aaron Beasley over here strip it. Gets it tucked away properly, and a nice job of bringing both hands around and stripping it, just as you called it, Brent. And Darren Studstill in at quarterback, as the Mountaineer coaching staff told us. And the Gators show blitz right away. It's Robert Walker. Walker steps outside, what he does best of all. Get a field for it for Jake Gelsner. No question about it. And the great thing about these two guys, they're so evenly talented that they don't vary what they do with the ball. So including that winning pass, the play they will not forget, the wide receiver, Ed Hill, and that was the game breaker. Kept the Mountaineers unbeaten. Straight back, Studstill takes off out of the pocket. Throw on load on him at the 33. Oh, and the Gators sideline. The Gators, on the other hand, come away with another title in the Southeastern Conference. Second and six now for West Virginia. Here come the Gators. Studstill gets it off with Grove coming blindside, and Hill can't hang on. Monty Grove settles in defensively again. Kearney, who scored for the Mountaineers, steps in motion. Studstill and Grove had him on the release. Interception as it was Groh who forced it that time. And now, what a return this is by Lawrence Wright. He's still going. Lawrence Wright is going to take it in. Have you ever seen a return like this? They came with an all-out blitz. Never seen. 52 yards for Wright. Judd Davis pounds in the extra point. And I'll tell you who turned this game around, as far as Florida's concerned, is number 10, Monty Grow. He set up, Wright, you better go over and thank number 10. Gators lead it by seven. Kicking it off, and the Gators up by seven. Logan will let this one bounce and fields it anyway. Didn't let it go out of bounds. Was fearful someone would come. Slips a tackle. Now the freshman tries to battle his way back. And here he comes. Now it's Logan's turn. Out to the 15-yard line. When he comes up to the line, he's taking a quick look and trying to figure out now where is number 10 camp this time. And he has to keep it on a botched hand up with the handoff with the fullback stud still to Kearney and this time it's Shea Showers making the big hit Jack Arute told us that Eric Rett was complaining about a shot in the small of the back Monty Groh then comes in delivers a big hit now we've seen Showers Stud's still under pressure again, and he steps back and hits Eddie Hill out of bounds. And it's just, it's a different successful ratio. It doesn't happen very often. Coming down on the option, Studstill's going to keep it, cuts in, and Studstill out to the 36 and demonstrating a little toughness. Second quarter, second and two. Hill steps in motion, and Studstill hands to Walker. Walker first down and then some. Walker to the 45-yard line. Monte Grove. Kelsner's interception ratio is not uh, as bad as a play fake stage. by Studstill. Rolls over to the right, away from pressure. Fires, and it was almost complete. And Hill complaining that he was interfered with. At the this is Ryan. He'll come over to the left side of the formation. Off a fake to Walker. They go back to the right side, and this time it's Mike Baker. Now, he was used at safety earlier this year, then switched back to the corner, but he's back in center field now. The fullback to the 44-yard line. Florida leads on the scoreboard 
but this is the kind of game that the Mountaineers wanted in here in the Sugar Bowl. Blitz! Stutzdale won't get it off. Loose ball. It was down. Second and 12 now, and Stutzdale hands off. And William Gaines, a big, talented defensive lineman, down to one. Studstill did not get it off. Studstill, goal to the men's final. That's coming up on ABC. And now Studstill, under pressure, oh. incomplete. Wow. Not being the toughest group. I want to tell you, you'd never know it by the night. Sour run under pressure, and they force a bad punt. You'd enjoy playing for either one of them. Now on first and ten, Dean drops it off to Rhett. They set a little screen for him and run out to the 32-yard line. And Jumping into a bear defense. And they cover the tight end with two and then come after it. And they run against it with Rhett out to the 34-yard line. Jerry Dean with the basic power eye keeps it himself for the first down. The young man, in his disappointment, he talked about transferring, but... He Says now he's changed his mind, fully expects to be back at Gainesville and playing for Spurrier next year. Avoids trouble, throws left sideline, could be intercepted off the deflection. Incomplete is the ruling. Against the Volunteers of Tennessee, a team we thought was as good as any when the season ended. Against three-man rush, Dean over the middle, hits the open man at midfield for another Florida first down. Tommy Orr. Two-minute drill. Jackson, Willie's underneath. And he slips for another Gator first down, depending on where they spot that. West Virginia sends in its dime defensive package now. They fully expect Spurrier to take a shot here with a minute to go. Dean wants Jackson's got it. Defender falls. He will simply walk on in. There is a flag down, but I'm not so sure West Virginia wasn't offside on the play. I think this is going to hold up over here. Willie Jackson simply walked in. They got their one-on-one -on -one coverage here on the sideline, and they burned it for 39 yards. You can see why Willie Jackson holds the school record for touchdowns in a career out of trouble. So we'll take a break here at the USF and G Insurance Sugar Bowl. The Gators now lead it. The Mountaineers with 51 seconds left here in the first half. Ooh, nice pick. Man has a leg, doesn't he? Let's get it down. You've got 51 seconds. You've got Sauerbrunn. He has a long leg. Kelsner off a short drop. He'll work the sideline. Clock is stopped there after a six-yard gain. Second down with 46 seconds on the game clock. Kelchner, he'll try to get to the sideline if he can. He does. He'll stop it at 40. Took six seconds. And <laughs> Berwick, Pennsylvania. Needs the first down here. Bounces it. Here on the wings. They're coming after him. Sauerbrunn gets it off. Kicks it too low. That should be returned. Palmer's got it at the 17-yard line. Palmer coming. And a penalty flag is thrown. Trying to kick it out the end of this, you know, because uh, sometimes you just so Donnie Nealon will attempt to regroup and re-inspire his Mountaineers here for the second half meanwhile Monty Grow, the Gator back he was the man who turned this game completely around when he unloaded on quarterback Darren Studstill. John Saunders, the Mountaineers have not been the same since. Quarterback Terry Dean has directed this Gator lead with Edge now kicking it off. Logan, a yard deep. Logan to the 20. Slam down at the 23-yard line. God bless us, and we'll go and do the best that we can. There you go, Brent. Jake Kelchner hands to Walker. Walker on the first play. First 10 yards around the left side. George Curry is the coach at Berwick. What a great job he does with the youngsters up there. The hand is to the 
fullback and Jimmy Freeman, number 29, the junior. Well, I'm glad he left you standing. I lost the partner, second and four, and Kelster's back under pressure. Kelster has an open man, and he overthrew Kearney here. Well, the third down for Kelchner and the Mountaineers. Jake stands in the pocket, oh, interference. No question, first down, Mountaineers. That was Anton Lott. Loading up. Kelchner against the pressure. One-on-one, -on -one, and he overthrows Baker. And the Gators with four down linemen. The backers come off a yard. Kelsner hit on the release incomplete. Eddie Hill, the intended receiver. This is third and ten. Hill goes in motion. Kelsner high to Kearney and incomplete. West Virginia will punt. Back to punt with Palmer. The return man. Oh, nice punt. Look oh, at that. Is that it? Almost, that's too good. Boy, did he nail that thing. That's an NFL leg if I've ever seen one. Jack Jackson comes to the left. The toss is to Rhett, the give back, and Dean will throw off a familiar play. Rolls to the right. Nobody there. Dean steps out with a first down. And penalty flags come flying on the hit. Intent to go for the touchdown. They were trying to throw the deep square in. It was not. Dean with three wide receivers. Jackson has one on one with Beasley off to the left. And they're going to give it to him on the end around Frazier, the track man. And he is out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Jack Jackson leading the way. So they have a whole sequence off of that play with Daryl Frazier, the senior wide receiver, number 25, coming around. Here is Rhett, nothing doing, short of the first down. Charlotte, Jacksonville, as Eric Rhett picks up a first down. And to get more on that story, three, and talking to Steve about it, he's extremely comfortable over in Gainesville. Loves the family life, and now Dean goes to Jack Jackson, incomplete at the end zone. Second down and 10. Rhett goes in motion, leaving Randolph to slip out. Dean firing to Willie Jackson. Breaks a tackle from Beasley. And Willie finally out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Continually through this ball game. Come out first down, run, come out first down. Well remembers that night. Determined not to have a repeat here. Here is Rhett slipping for a yard to the 14-yard line. Academic all-conference. Outstanding young man. Interesting formation. Wide receivers at tight end. Dean sprints to the right, throws incomplete. They lead it 21-7. This is their first drive of the second half. Rhett comes to the short side of the field in motion. And Dean with a straight drop over the middle, incomplete the receiver, and penalty called. Interference, David Mayfield was working. To the short side of the field, the Passing coverage rotated. On the defense, by rule. The ball will be placed on the two-yard line. What normally is a tight end in that formation, this time it's a wide receiver. Much different animal. Offset, toss, Rhett, Rhett to the flag, and the Gator touchdown. Fine block by Charlie Dean, the tight end. Well, there's the four scores you knew Florida would come up with tonight. Davis adds the extra point. He's perfect. Four of four. Florida 28. West Virginia 7. From the guy. No wonder he runs so tough. This is Logan again, and the freshman is out to the 10. Fumble. Gators. Actually, one of his own men coming back to peel back block disrupted him enough to cause the fumble. Looks like they're going to run it coming out here on first down, Brent. Now he's on him. He didn't like that run from the sideline call. He changed it. Short drop. Fire one-on-one. -on -one. Willie Jackson out of bounds inside the 10. 
Now the offset of the pitch look, and here it is behind Doki Rett slams to the four yard line. If he gets up tighter, then they throw it. If he's back deeper, they normally run it. Houston in motion. Eric Lett, first and goal. The eye formation. Eric Rett will try to get his third, and he stops short. Houston. And it's Red again, slashing, diving, reaching, has it. His third touchdown of the game. West Virginia came in here having allowed only eight rushing touchdowns all season, and Eric Rett has three himself tonight. Boy, and I'll tell you, he earned this one showing his character. Great reach and get the ball in the end zone. Davis. And the Gators. Losers here two years ago are well on their way to the title in this year's Sugar Bowl. And the athletic director saying that Steve Spurrier is going to be a force to be reckoned with for a lot of years over there in Gainesville. This is Vanderpool. Vanderpool slammed short at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Jake Kelser will try to light a fire. It's a flickering flame for the unbeaten Mountaineers. Instead of high, this one's low on the bounce. Knowing the Mountaineers must pass, the Gators defensive lineman able to tee off. Complete to Mike Baker and a first down West Virginia. He was a quarterback the next day and has been ever since. First and ten. Kelsner on the run, away from trouble. Short of the 30-yard line. You must be. Signaling to his outside wide man. Kennedy's over there. Kelsner hands to Walker. Walker with a criminal flag. Walker. That's Ryan moving to the right side of the formation. Walker for the first down. I apologize. Okay. Don't let it happen again. Okay. That what they call the big shadow defense when they put four linemen down. Bourbon Street mentioned it. All that is raucous and rowdy. They did it two years ago, but not this time. This is a Gator team that came in here with a purpose, and so far they are making good on that promise. You no, know, there's no reason why Spurrier shouldn't become a great bowl coach. When you think of what he can do with that extra time off, Dick, yeah. and the way he sets up an offense. Keltzner slips away, goes down the middle of the line, and it's incomplete. And that was Larry Kennedy who got a hand on the ball. Here's a third down and five. Keltzner fires the middle, incomplete. Ball was jarred loose, and Kennedy was in on that play along with Hanks. Field goal, as I recall, 38-35. Perhaps I'll have to check to make sure. The punt by Sauerbrunn. <laughs> 19 and Palmer slips the first tackler, but not the second. I got to mention the Gators next year as one of those candidates for a national title. That's how much talent comes back. Eric Rett will be gone. He will be a big man they're going to have to replace. As he we'll check with George Hill on the uh, on the home field. They're going to throw here. Second down. And it's Willie Jackson. Slips. And he's out of bounds. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. The NFC Central is the team that will play the first week, the first round of the playoffs. Got it. So nothing can change with the Monday night. Rhett at the 40-yard line. Eric Rhett comes in motion on second and 10. And Terry Dean rolling right, slips it to Willie. And he's out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. Here. Good definition of purpose. Beasley's over here on Willie. So now Rhett puts pressure on the other side. Dean comes, throws to the slot man, and Hill can't get a hand on it, but he had him one-on-one. -on -one. We saw them. It was an excellent football team. Edge wants it. Vanderpool loves the fair catch. Ball at about a 20. And of Monty Grove. Number 10 when he unloaded. I don't think this football game has ever been the same since that two-play sequence. Kelsner with time looks back and he overthrows. And this is Walker and he won't go. He will not get.
get the corner. On third and 12, Kelsner slips it out to his fullback. He is down at the 19 and short of the first down. First half when he was shaken up over on that far side. A sour brun. Sends one to Palmer on the run at the 42-yard line. And Palmer slips the first tackle, but not the second, and he is down. It. Werfel is injured. Dean was the starter and the finisher against Alabama. He's done a job here. As Eric Redder has scored three touchdowns for the Gators. Here they have a lot of talent coming back on that offensive line, but they're going to be missing him. Now they come up with a slot to the right. And Rhett to the 49. First and 10. And Rhett. Stepping lively, picks a hole beautifully, doesn't he? I mean, he's just had a wonderful career at Florida. We don't know if he'll have a pro career quite like Emmett Smith, but then how many guys will have, you know what I mean? Now it's Dean back, has one on one, goes deep against Beasley, and incomplete it was Houston. And now there's nothing he can't do maybe for the NFL, NFL team, but maybe make the 80-yard run, the 60-yard burst once he clears that secondary. And when you're named Rhett and you're playing in the South, folks, you know you're good. Completion of Frazier. First down for the Florida Gators and out of bounds. First and ten. Florida on the move again. It's been all Gators since about midway through the second quarter. Here's Lett to the 28-yard line. Second and six. And, yeah, he would have liked to have seen that a lot of people didn't see this one. Now Dean steps off to the right. Fires. Looked like it was just short of the first down, didn't it, at the 25-yard uh, line. Great comeback that came up a couple of points short against Missouri. He was the first losing player to be the MVP. Now he comes back. He's lost once as a coach. And with that first down, moving, and Dickett appears like he's going to come away and be one and one as a coach. He's 15 minutes away. And time is running out on unbeaten West Virginia. When you're trailing like this. 35 to 7. First and 10, and Dean straight back with the drop. Jack Jackson short and intercepted. Picked off by Beasley. Beasley at the 20. And out of bounds at the 27 yard line. They did a pretty good job of it. The Gators start the final 15 with an interception. West Virginia will try to make them pay here. Kelsner on the roll to the right. Walker blocks beautifully, and he almost gave it right back. Hanks. Now Walker is out, and Rodney Woodard in. Kelsner, a diving reception at the 38-yard line. Come up to the line, only nine seconds left on that clock. And here is Walker around the right side, moves that pile out to the 44-yard line. It's for sure. And now Kelsner and the Mountaineers in need of a big play. Two almost. And he telegraphed that one all the way. Hector. Now, nice play. Hand to Woodard. Woodard, first down. Woodard, blast to the 42-yard line. In the game, ninth in the country, West Virginia. There. Mountaineers searching for that strike. Kelsner gets a lot of time. Can't find an open receiver and dumps it out of bounds and incomplete. Second and 10 for Kelsner and the Mounties. Blitz. Off the blitz. Here comes Grow. Kelsner releases complete. One of the messages up here on the board in the Superdome says, Go Jacksonville Jaguars. It's the handoff now. And Walker stood up far short of that first down. Maybe it'll be called Jaguar Stadium when they get done over there. Fourth down. What a great story that is for that city. Down the middle and incomplete. Overthrown and right almost had his second pick. Yeah, you said right away it was the most sophisticated passing game that you've looked at in college football. This is Terrence Boy. He's the freshman. In <laughs> oh, my. Second down. And here's Boy. Trying and, and don't ever, ever give up. I've got to ask you, having a star quarterback as a son, do you get a lot of ribbing at the hair salon? Well, Dean and the Gators with a comfortable 35-7 lead here and a first down across midfield against the Mountaineers, and that time he slipped trying to get it into Mobley's hands, putting the ball down. 11.6 yards in average carry last year in high school. 
Well, the SEC will test him. Here he is running the toss play. He slipped through. <laughs> Good on that run. <laughs> yeah, that's where you carry your goals, you know, a lot of times. They sent him in motion, and they fired at Jack Jackson. Jack will be back next year. He'll be an All-American candidate. Kane Edge's big play, and then Dean hit the, the long pass right away to Jackson. Here's Foy. And Foy to the 27-yard line. And they're rated a third rank, you know, and they're, they're fighting for respect. That's Mobley, short of the first down. Speaking of uh, and the Badgers, and what they accomplished with that program. Ohio State earlier had beaten BYU, but not by much. Incomplete. So Judd Davis on to attempt a 43-yard field goal and the Lou Groza Award winner. He's had five extra points. And he adds a nice field goal. So it's been a great night in New Orleans for the Gators of Florida. Hope they give him a cold one, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Savannah Pool from the four. 25 and to the 30-yard line. He'll take a series here in the second half and see if he can finish something off. He's done it before, but he's got a long ways to go here. And it's second and ten as he... Florida is this much better than West Virginia. But as the game went and they lost that intensity and that, that great, great desire, then it really separated. Save his life. Third down and ten. Stutzville goes deep. Kearney almost made a fingertip grab at the 35 run. With a long at 55. And a fair catch at the 27 yard line. And the lead now is 38 to 7 as Eric Presser checks in at quarterback. Or in terms of signaling the plays in once he made the verbal call. Look at this. Oh, here we go. A little razzle dazzle. Where is it? That's the hidden ball trick. Watch this as you see the snap. We're going to take it back. They've worked on this all year and have never run it. They have never run it. And the players have been chewing on the coach. Let's run that thing. And then Bilkey turns around and runs it. <laughs> nine, ten yard or nine yard game. And the toss to Foy on the first down. Look at this work. Wow. Speaking of work. Uh, <laughs> that's wonderful. First and ten. Here's the toss to Foy. Foy slashes to the 45. Yard. Second down now. I'll tell you, folks, it's been something. Now, Presser. Nice play. Throw. Out of bounds at the 25. Nice, patient throw. Here's Foy. Boy, he's going to be a good football player. Now. Anna. Folks, you haven't got a timeout on that side if they called one. 340. Oh, the give back. And Presser is going to keep it on the run. This is a run all the way. Design run. It, now it's third and three. Final 330 to go. You know, when you have a big lead, you feel free to call about anything. Oh, sure. <laughs> Presser's going to, oh, he can throw the ball well. Yes, he can. I asked the coaches the other day about him. And no, we'll take a look at what the writers, that's Foy, might come up with. Five, or yeah. at least close to it. I'll tell you, if Florida State just nicks. He took it over. They went six and six his first year. From then on, they had nine winning seasons, two losing seasons, been to eight bowl games. Uh, outstanding. Third, third and six. <laughs> I never know where to call you. <laughs> Can't hit a moving target, kid. Here comes Foy, and Foy is wrestled out of bounds. It winds up being Green Bay. Bring along your longies. Bring along the longies. You bet. Davis with a 26-yarder makes his second field goal of the night. Yeah. 
And it's 41-7, 155 to go. The Gators have scored 41 unanswered points. Anything like the dead. Oh, was he a player? Just never had the opportunity to have the great supporting cast, but what a football player. Banterpool. No matter if he hangs on or not, huh? Chad Johnston in. Well, I tell you, if he does do it. Get official word that the MVP of this USF&G Insurance Sugar Bowl will be Eric Rett. He certainly deserves that honor with his three touchdowns and his 100-yard night. Gary again. Last 30 seconds. Transpired down here in the Superdome tonight. And for the Gators of Florida, they have deserved, deservedly so, captured this championship. No question about it. They were the superior team here tonight. Just let that clock tick away and let's go on in with this 41-7 triumph. And folks, the Florida Gators have won this year's USF&G Insurance Sugar Bowl in convincing fashion, 41-7.